Hey everyone, this is Greg from AI Light Show. In this video, I'm going to show you how to limit the range of movement of all of your moving heads. So to start off, if we're in run mode, you want to get back to the main menu by holding down the exit button for about three seconds. And you want to go into test moving heads. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a global range limitation setting on all of your moving heads. There's a way to adjust the range on each moving head separately at a pair level, etc. However, we're going to do the quickest option here, which is a global select and we're going to start limiting the range of movement at a global scale. You'll notice there's a global select button here. If I hit that, all of my moving heads are selected simultaneously. Now you'll notice some fixtures which are not moving heads are also illuminated. This is simply because they were assigned the same fixture ID as some of the moving heads, which is a topic for another discussion. Now, before we start limita uh, limiting the range of movement of your pan and your tilt channels, one thing to note is the box itself is smart enough to deal with those moving heads which have 16 bits of control, in other words, a coarse and fine channel, as well as those fixtures which only have 8 bits of control, uh, just a coarse channel, without you having to worry about any of that. All you have to worry about is setting a min and a max range. So now that we have global select uh, illuminated here, all of our moving heads are selected, we can go into pan. You'll notice we have a min and a max value. What I like to do is set max to 255 to start out with. You'll notice all my moving heads now jump to 255. I can start scaling him down until I get to one end of the range that I would like to limit the movement to. Once I'm happy with that, what I like to do is I like to bring min also down to roughly about the same level as max to start out with, which is okay right there. Then I like to start scaling him down and fine tuning until I get to the other side that I'm happy with. So if I'm happy there, I'm done. Now all I have to do is go into tilt and do the same approach. I like to bring max to about 255 to start out with and start scaling him down until I get my moving heads pointed to one extreme that I'm happy with, say right about there or so, and maybe a little bit further down. Okay, and then I like to bring min up to roughly the same point as my max to start out with all right, good enough. And then I would like to start scaling him down in order to bring the tilt range to the other extreme that I'm happy with. This is gonna be just about zero. All right, now, if you're happy with this, you're done. All you have to do is go into done and confirm that you are happy with these settings. You are done. And just as always, go into the save button, save this to your DMX Universe profile that you have. And then you can go into run and you'll notice that the movement of all your moving heads will now be constrained to that limited range for both pan and tilt.